We are recording. We are recording right now. Hello, everyone. I'm Ben Steerick. I'm Emmett Lefebvre. And we're wandering in downtown Phoenix, January 10th, 2020. Yeah, so, yeah. 2020, everybody. Hi. It's a brisk day. Yeah, it's very chilly. Yes. I'm... I'm sure you can hear the breeze through our phones. Yeah, it's rustling. Yeah, it's, it's, it's rustling. rustling. Yeah. Yeah, so we're both recording just in case because we're on the phones yeah. today. You can do some c cool back and forth editing. Yeah. I'm here now. No, I'm here now. No, I'm here now. <laughs> Look at my right. Look at my left. Very exciting. <laughs> anyway, so we just got done a little bit ago eating at Subway. Yes. Shout out to Subway. And uh, before that, we uh, shot a little video that you yeah. guys will be seeing very soon. Actually, you may have just watched it. Yeah. Orwin yeah. yeah. skit. Hope you guys liked it. A little different because we weren't trying to interpret the characters in game and all their funky movements. Yeah, yeah. But rather, we were just making fun of how weird the combat system is. Yes. And uh, yeah, I had a lot of fun. Which way should we go? You want to go to the sun? I'm a little cold. You can go in the sun. Where's the sun? the sun? Oh, let's go this way. Sun, sun, baby sun. Anywho, uh, but yeah, no, we had a good time. Uh, oh, oh my god. Got a little, <laughs> little bit of a, <laughs> little bit of a workout in in the video, as you can see. Yeah, yeah. It we're, was, uh... we're genuinely sweating because we, we worked out before we would record each take. So we were like doing jumping jacks and like push-ups and running around and getting ourselves all exerted before we recorded. Yeah, and oh god, it was super hot. I was, I was, I, my head was just soaking when I took off the helmet and the, the other undergarment. God, underwear. Undergar underwear. Underwear. That's right. No, it was really fun though. I hope you guys enjoy. Yeah, what's that over there? Underwear? <laughs> anyway, yeah, it's a beautiful day. It's kind of weird right now because if you're in the shade, it's like freezing cold. Yeah. And if you're in the sun, it's like, oh, it's nice. Yeah, I know. It's like very abrasively bright. So here we are in 2020, first week. Yep. Uh, as of right now. Yep. Any resolutions, anything like that? Anything you want to do? I never, I never really think of <coughs> resolutions. Um, well, and I never really, really try because I know I'm not going to follow through with them. I don't think anyone does. But yeah. um, I try to, but a lot of people peter out by like February. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. often I'll think of like legit resolutions shortly after the new year. I can see that. Because I don't know, once we're in the full swing of the new year, then I'm starting to like, I feel the, the newness of it. I feel that, oh, you know, things are really beginning over again. And once I get a sense of kind of how things are starting to go, then I'm like, oh, maybe this would be good. Yeah. I had something, but honestly right now I can't remember what it was. Um, Mine is just more creative output. Yeah. Like this kind of yeah. stuff, I mean, as silly as it seems, it's something, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. And I think the more we get comfortable with doing that kind of stuff, the, the better it is, you know? Yeah, I agree. Because otherwise it's like I'm just sitting around, you know, doing nothing. Yeah. Oh, I remember what mine was. Uh, I wanted to just be more myself. Because I, I think I think we've kind of lost our, our boldness. We used to have a boldness, but yeah, we, my, we, wouldn't, we wouldn't care about My boldness is gone. Thought. Um, <laughs> yeah. oh, there it is. And uh, I, th I think I've been kind of like placid for a while emotionally. I just went, oh, everything's fine. So I don't want... Placid? Placid. Oh. <laughs> placid too. Emotionally placid, emotionally placid. Okay. Um, it's not necessarily an anger, but just uh, a dissatisfaction with things. Yeah, we used to have good. a little bit more of that. Yeah. I think also where we were, like, as of right now, it's like, work's okay. Everything's very, uh, like, I'm very complacent. Exactly. Everything's kind of comfy. That's which a bad is, place to be. Which is kind of dangerous, yeah. you know? But, yeah, and I think when you get into a place where there's too much complacency, it kind of fucks you up. Yeah. And so the goal right now is, even if it's one or two creative projects a month, that's kind of the goal. Yeah. You want to just get more stuff out there and uh, just be less sedentary, you know? Totally, totally. And every, I mean, it's cliche, but everyone says they want to work out more, they want to get in shape. Right, right. And that's great. That's good. And if you actually follow through with it, <coughs> you don't lose your momentum and lose your Yeah, I noticed in February. my mom goes to the gym a lot. And she said there was a huge uptick right after the, the New Year's. Totally. So there's always people who are like, yeah, I'm going to get fit. And uh, sooner or later, like a few weeks in, you start to see them veer off, and it just goes back to normal. So, yeah. Like, yeah, most people don't stick with their shit, which is fine. Yeah. But that's why I've never really taken to, like, trying to have a resolution anyway, because it, it doesn't seem realistic. But, um... Yeah. But I, think, I think things kick in when they need to. Like, I, we've both been talking about how, like, ah, we, you know, we're feeling comfy, we don't have a lot of good ideas... But this year, I mean, just right off the bat, we're already starting to film new stuff. And Which is good, yeah. I'm feeling the... Hope get, you enjoy. Yeah, I'm getting in that groove again. So, yeah, I think I think things fix themselves more often than not. Yeah. Uh, the most important thing here is Hooters. Mm. That's what I really want to talk to you guys about. They're great. Uh, really good breasts. And the... Uh, the food's good too. Although I see a lot of families eating there. Yeah, which is kind of odd. I don't really get it, yeah. They bring their little yeah. kids. And he brings well, I his think, wife. I think when it originally came out, it had that connotation of being a little more risque. Yeah. And people were like, ooh, it's edgy and pretty girls. Right. And now you go in, it's actually fairly wholesome. It I is, mean, yeah, yeah. It is a sports bar. Yeah. And, I mean, the thing is, like, the girls wear, like, pantyhose. And, like, it's, right, it's, right, right, pr right. it's pretty wholesome, really. But, I mean, the whole title is just alluding to tits. You know, it's interesting. I thought it was alluding to owls. Oh, you might be right. Ah, you might be right. <laughs> no, it's about tits. 
But uh, it's like uh, like tilted kilt, you know? What are they implying right. there, yeah. you know? Yes. You go in and actually tilt their kilt, you're going to get fucked up. <laughs> you know, the bouncer's going to push you out, you know? That's true. But, yeah, uh, they do have good uh, wings, though. We've enjoyed their wings. I enjoy their wings. From time yeah. to time. And also, um, uh, as far as what's new with us, very little. Very little. Uh, what did I do on New Year's? I didn't do shit. I, I went home, I had a couple beers, and I watched Once Upon a Time in Hollywood for the fourth time. I still gotta see that. Dude, so good. I haven't seen any other good movies. I watched Uncut Gems. It was good. It wasn't yeah. as good as Good Time, but I thought it was good. Yeah, that's what you told me. Yeah. It was, uh... I'm, oh. always, I'm always the opposite of, all the, of everyone else when this kind of thing happens. There'll be uh, sort of an up-and-coming creator, and yeah. they will come out with something, and it's very, very good, yeah. but it doesn't get a lot of like coverage mm -hmm. and then they come out with another thing and it blows up like yeah. the guy who made hereditary which mm -hmm. i thought was incredible Loved her. i mean yeah yeah it was um, it was successful yeah yeah it freaked, yeah. It freaked me out yeah, yeah. <laughs> um he then came out with midsummer which i thought just thought was kind of dumb i heard it shit yeah i thought it was really not that good and it, it, pull, yeah. it pulled a lot from hereditary if you saw yeah. midsummer you'd be like oh it's just hereditary yeah. and that was the one that was like oh dude i heard there was like a bunch of people just like offing themselves jumping onto rocks yeah and and it, was stuff, just, and... it was just stupid um yeah, sometimes it gets a little too gratuitous yeah, it, it yeah. didn't. It didn't. It didn't have the pulse and the cleverness yeah. and the pacing of Hereditary. It was just kind of like loss of a bunch of stuff. Yeah. yeah, and that one and that one really blew up, and it kind of overshadowed Hereditary, and it made me sad. And uh, yeah. same thing with the Safdie brothers. They came out with Good Time with good Robert time was Pattinson. Really good, man. Yeah, yeah, that one really stressed me out. Yeah. Edge of your seat action. It was very low budget, but in the best kind of way. Like yeah. kind of like when John Carpenter first started right, out. Right, right. And like everything had that real tense feel, like. It almost felt like everything could be real. Yeah. Like where it feels like you're not supposed to be seeing some of the stuff mm -hmm. that's happening. Does that make sense? Yeah. No, I, I 100%. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I thought it was a masterpiece. And then, yeah. I mean, it got good reviews, but not a lot of people saw it. And then Uncut yeah. Gems comes out. And everyone's like, oh, so fucking Well, incredible. I think I think the big thing with that is, San is Sandman. Yeah. Because yeah. Sandler, it's like the only other serious movie I can think of that he did was um, Punch Drunk Love, which was great. Right. Yeah, if you I haven't seen it, that. highly recommend. No, but yeah, I mean, it was it was very well made. Don't get me wrong; it was yeah. a good movie. But I thought Good Time was much superior, and just, it just bugs me when that happens. There's this total, I think, uh, incorrect imbalance. Imbalance, yeah. There's, there's a, oh, there it is. You want to see what movies are out right now? Let's take a look. All right, so you got Uncut Gems, Little Women, my favorite. Oh, Ford vs Ferrari, pretty good. That was good. Ford vs Ferrari was good. I actually enjoyed it. It was good. As someone who knows nothing about cars, I really enjoyed it. It was interesting. Yeah, I liked it. it uh, the interesting thing about that one was allegedly there was no CGI in that at all. Wow. So all the car stunts were done with actual cars, actual stunt drivers, which I thought was really impressive. That's actually incredible. Yeah. Yeah. So they did a really good job. Highly recommend. What else do we have over here? Cats. I uh, heard it was a massive. It got a, abysmal reviews. My dad said it was not as bad as everyone said it was, but. Ugh. Ugh. I just think it's not the right climate for that kind of musical. Makes me queasy. Yeah. All right. Uh, looks like uh, kid, kid, kid friendly, forgettable. Straight, In theaters this Christmas. Looks like yeah. looks like a straight to video piece of yeah, shit. Yeah. You know? uh, ooh, crap. Like a boss. Just the uh, title makes me want to puke. I'm happy with the new Jumanjis. Uh, I haven't seen the second. The, the second one. Second one's fun, but well, not as good as the first one. First one's incredible. Yeah, first lightning in a bottle. Yeah. You know. Yeah, right. Because yeah. I wasn't expecting to like that one at all, mm -hmm. and I went in and saw it. And I loved it. Yeah, I thought it was great. Um, the Grudge. Come on, stop. What is this? 2002. <laughs> stop. Oh my God! I didn't know there's another Grudge coming. Yeah. Oh, there's a fist coming out of my oh, head. No. <laughs> yeah, Knives Out. I heard was fun. It just. I, it doesn't look like the kind of movie. It was all right. It was. Uh, didn't need to be made. I like the annoying little kid. But uh, it, bugs me. it was. Uh, Look at the kid, I want to punch his face. I'd give it a 3 out of 5, and that's being generous. It was, uh, yeah. I watched it on Thanksgiving, nothing better to do, mm. and it was, uh, it was okay, I wouldn't watch it again. And I feel like it's one of those movies where it's like, ooh, look at the legendary ensemble, it's just like too much, yeah. like the, the cast is just the thing too much. The thing that was kind of weird me. about it, as much as I like him, uh, Daniel Craig was kind of unbelievable, because he had like this real heavy southern yeah, draw. he looked kind of dumb, just from the trailer, yeah. I was like, ooh, I don't know if that works. It wasn't crazy but, about um, it. Yeah. What can you do? But uh, anyway, so I heard the new Batman movie. They're starting to release sets, uh, the set photos with the uh, Twilight guy. What's Pattinson, his name? yeah. Pattinson, yeah. Good time. Yeah. Good time, yeah. Of but uh, anyway, so if you go online, I mean, there's probably more out now if you're if you're watching at a later date. But as of right now, I saw there was like ambulances that said Gotham, and there's like old wow. police cars that are beat up that say Gotham PD. It's and exciting. Pretty exciting. Yeah. I just seeing the world come together. There's also a shot of who they think is the penguin, and it's Colin. It looks like Colin Farrell. It's kind of a blurry picture, Ooh. but he looks like a sleek, like more like steampunk penguin. Oh, okay, that's kind of cool. cool. Yeah. So. Robert Pattinson's such a good actor. Love Pattinson. So I will say, I will say, the best of the new ones, the best of the new Star Wars, the Disney era, I think sucks, but this one was actually pretty enjoyable. Not bad. Not bad.
Who's the twin blasters woman? Uh, she's stupid. She looks like something from the Rocketeer. She does, yeah. But, uh, yeah, I don't know what's going on here. Like I said, <laughs> like I said, still not great, but as far as the new piece of shit series goes, this one was fun. They had some good lightsaber battles. It looked pretty cool. It was visually pleasing. Um, visually stunning. I'd give it a three out of five. I remember all these people were angry that, uh, Rose, Rose, Tico oh, didn't get enough air time. One of the worst characters is, I've ever yeah, seen. <laughs> there yeah. she is, Rose. One of the worst. And, yeah, everyone was outraged that she's such a great character. She's like, one of the most boring characters they've ever seen ever. I wanted her dead. I wanted her dead in the first like, five I, minutes. I felt like, what, like, what are you doing? Like, who is this? Yeah, yeah. Terrible. Such a beloved character, Rose. One of the worst characters I've ever seen. <laughs> I'd rather see Admiral Akbar. Well, I think the thing with those films is that all the characters are very bland. Yeah, they suck. Yeah. yeah. Nothing going the on. The more I think about it, the more I don't like it. Thinking about the new, what was it called, Rise of Skywalker? Uh, yeah. The release of that, and the obviously the much prior release of uh, Endgame, both the big yeah. Star Wars wave and the big Marvel <laughs> wave are over now. And we're in a new year, so it's kind of like we're, we're cleansed. I please. hope we're going to be seeing yeah, some new please. cinema. I got real sick of that shit real fast. Well, I do like going back to uh, Uncut Gems. Like I like when something like that kind of comes out of the woodwork that yeah. you're not expecting at all. Mm -hmm. And it's completely unique, right. and it's character-driven, and it doesn't have fucking all these familiar characters and excess of CGI. Right, right. I like it when it's a real movie, when you yeah. can see a real movie. Yeah. Look how nice it is today. Check this it's a very beautiful day. What a beautiful day. Construction as always. You've always got construction downtown. Yeah. Don't try to fight it, you're just gonna have a lot of noise and <laughs> people banging on hammers and... Yeah, ooh, it's a quinceanera. A quinceanera, a quinceanera. On Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday as well. This is like, I don't know if this is a podcast or a vlog. It's kind of becoming both. Yeah. Uh, let's say both. Let's say it's a vlog cast. Vlog cast. Let's Ooh, we just made our, new, our own uh, genre. Yeah, I mean, because here's the thing. We have a limited time together, because Emmett's out of town half the time. True. So when we do get together and we have a day where we make sweet, sweet love <laughs> to the camera. Yes. We, uh... We gotta kind of capitalize on it, and it's like, oh, let's go get lunch and record a podcast vlog. Yeah, we just had the Subway tuna. Always yeah. get the tuna at the Subway. That's the, they got the best tuna at Subway. Always a class. I need yeah. to get that thing that Kevin Nealon has, the like yeah, stick with yeah, the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's another recommendation. Hiking with Kevin. The last one he did was with Nick Swartzen. Oh, fucking beautiful. Yeah. Let's try hiking with Ben. See how many views it gets. Uh, probably two. <laughs> Ooh. A quinceanera. A beautiful day. <sighs> Our daughter has become a woman. <laughs> Anyway, guys, uh, what else? What else do we not touch base on before we wrap it up here? Ooh, I don't know. I'll um, check out our predictions video. Oh yeah, I have a predictions video. Uh, it'll be up by the time this is up. Yes. And it's also on the unfazed channel. And feel free to chime in if you guys have any predictions. Let us know in the comments. Yeah, def <laughs> definitely. Definitely. <laughs> and basically, the, the gist of it is predictions for the next decade yeah. and beyond. Uh, Emmett's in it. A couple of their our friends are in it. And uh, actually, here's a fun little behind the scenes bit of information if you guys give a shit. Um, I put out the invitation to a few um, comedians, celebrities, random people that I thought might want to participate. Of course, nobody responds, nobody gives a shit. But the one person who did respond was Fred Stoller. Look him up, comedian Fred Stoller. You may know him from Seinfeld or as the awkward cousin from Everybody Loves Raymond. Anyway, shout out to Fred Stoller, very nice guy. He was feeling under the weather, so he could not, but we talked a little bit, and he was a very friendly guy. Thank you, Fred. So shout out to Fred, one of the few accessible comedians I out appreciate there. it. I really do appreciate that. that yeah, nice guy. Yeah. Um, yeah, so as far as that goes, check that video out, and uh, Happy New Year, motherfuckers. Happy New Year. Yeah, see you guys.